Hey guys, it's that time of year again. Time to clean the carburetor or the snowblower. Um, so this is one of those 21 inch yard machines, just a small little snow thrower. Um, here's a model number. You know, this kind of applies to any carburetor. Um, I'm just gonna do this one and show you what's going on. So uh, this is where our carburetor is right here. We'll be back in a second. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna grab my fluid line clamp set um, you can get these again, Harbor Freight. You can do it with a pair of channel locks if you wish. I'm just going to clamp off my gas line. That way I don't get too much gasoline on me. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my 13 millimeter socket. We're going to loosen this up. I got a catch bucket down below for the gasoline, whatever's in there. A couple of things. When I pull this bowl down, there's going to be an O-ring here, and there's going to be a needle valve in there with a float. You don't want the needle valve to drop out, so you want to keep the float up in the air so that that needle valve doesn't drop. Now, if it does, we can put it back in, but it makes this job so much simpler. Um, if this video helps you, just hit that like or subscribe button. Definitely appreciate it. Here comes my gas. Pull out my jet. And there's my O-ring. There's my float. The float's right here. It's going to drop this down. We're going to try and keep this up best we can. So once you get the carburetor off, you're gonna look for any kind of floaty. So I've already cleaned this last year. It looks pretty good right now, but I'm gonna empty this into my catch bucket. Then we're gonna come back, we're gonna take a quick look. We'll zoom this out for you. You can see this looks pretty good. But again, I'm just gonna clean it out. Okay, that looks really good in there. We'll put that back in. Next thing I'm gonna do is inspect my jet. So you're gonna notice there's a little hole right here. It goes through to the other side. I'm gonna grab a pipe cleaner. We're gonna clean that out. I'll show you how. Okay, so here's a better view of that jet. Don't lose your gasket. So I'm gonna use a piece of wire. You could use pipe cleaner. That works, a pipe cleaner with a brush on it. This is gonna just go inside of this hole. You just wanna clean this out. Make sure it's not blocked, okay? The other thing you wanna do is using a brush, just gonna clean inside of here. I go do that off camera really quick, but that's what we're trying to do, just clear that out. Okay, so I wanted to show you something. So if you look closely inside that port, you can see there's a small hole. That small hole goes to that hole in that jet as well. So again, I'll use a small wire. It's gonna to be tough to show you that. Um, I'm gonna clean out this bore. It looks pretty clean inside of there. Again, I can use my pipe cleaner. We're just gonna clean this out, okay? Just gonna inspect inside of there, make sure everything looks good. And there's another, looks like another small jet, maybe up here. Really tough to focus in on that. See if I can get a piece of wire in there. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna inspect my O-ring. I already cleaned it. You really, when you clean it, you don't want to stretch this. And you can tell if it's stretched if when you put it into the bowl where it's supposed to seat, it doesn't sit straight. This one does sit straight. You can see it sits nice and flush. So what we'll do is we're going to mount this back up on the carburetor. We'll thread this back in and all should be good. Okay, this is the jet I was telling you about. Oh, sorry, your, your valve, your needle valve. So it's wedged up in, in there, right? See that? That's what I'm moving. So as you move this float, try to do this as best we can. You know, see it goes up and down nice and free. That's what it should do. If it doesn't, you need to take this out and clean it. To do that, there's a pin. That pin's right here. You're just gonna push it through. It goes through to the other side, on this side over here. Or you can come out this way, no matter. But, you know, just be careful when you're taking that out. So what I'm going to do is uh, we'll get this set back up and we're going to mount our O-ring. And the, the seat that you're looking for that you want to mount that O-ring is right here. It's going to sit here nice and flush. Okay, so before we mount the bowl, important thing, 
you'll notice one side of the bowl is deeper than the other. That's for the float. So see how the float drops down, drops down. I want to line this up with how the float drops down. You could line it up with that post, this line here. And then what I want to do is make sure my O-ring is seated correctly. Just going to slide this up and inside. And this should seat. We're going to drop our jet back in to remount it. So what you want to make sure of is that the bowl here is actually sitting flush against the metal flange or the mounting area. That's how you know your O-ring is actually seated in there really well. It's the best view I can get you. We're just going to tighten this down and that should do it for us in a second. Okay, we're just gonna do, use my 13 mil socket again. I'm not gonna go crazy, just nice and hand tight. And then, you know, at this point, all we're gonna do is remove our clamp that we had on the gas line. We can fire it up, see if she works, but we're gonna stop it here for you again. And you know, if this helped you out, just give me a like, really appreciate it. You guys have a great day, we'll see you next time.